let's take a look at some grade 10 science right now. Here's a basic equation governing your Bunsen burner. It seems complicated at first, but in plain English, it's very easy to understand. This first chemical here is known as natural gas, or its proper name is methane. That's what it mostly is. This is oxygen. We already know carbon dioxide, and everybody knows the formula for water since probably before you can remember. So the question is, what do we have here? Well, let's do a quick little uh, drawing of the situation we have at hand. We have a methane molecule here. That's going to be a central carbon attached to four hydrogens. So I'm going to draw it like that. And you try drawing with a mouse if you think it's that easy. The oxygens, I can just do this. Big O equal sign O. Why that? It's, it's the same as drawing two little lines. I'm going to make a nice big oxygen here. Oops. There we go. That's better. So here's our oxygens. And then we're going to make the carbon dioxide. And carbon dioxide uh, basically looks like this. Carbon and two oxygens. And water is an oxygen with two hydrogens. Now let's take a look at the before and after. Beforehand, we have a single carbon atom. And afterwards, we still have a single carbon atom. But there's a problem here. We had four hydrogens entering the formula and only two hydrogens came out. So that means there's two unused hydrogens sitting around with nothing to do. And what this would mean is your burner would be emitting still more flammable gas. What a waste. There's two unburned hydrogens. That stuff is highly flammable. And whoa, wait a minute. We also have this weird effect that we have three oxygens on the outside and only two going in. This, this is a nightmare. But, uh, hmm, let me think about it. If I have two more hydrogens, all I would need is one more oxygen, and I could build two entire waters. So I'm going to put a big two here. And just like math class, when you put a multiplier in front of an expression, it works on everything. So two waters would look like this down here. Now let's count. One, two, three, four oxygens came out, but two went in. So this is Halloween loot bag thing. If all the baggies come with two oxygen in it, how many baggies of oxygen would you need to get four? They're coming in pairs. So you would sit there and say, oh, I get it. I would need two pairs of oxygens to completely burn off this molecule. Ah. So let me rewrite the molecule over here. There's a C, and I'm going to make an H. I'm going to create my little methane molecule like this. Two, three, four. And what's going to happen is one oxygen will come in here take this guy away. Another oxygen will come in here, take this one away, and then we'll need two more oxygens, one there and one there, to make carbon dioxide. So the final formula is your natural gas burner needs twice as much air going into it as methane in order to completely burn the gas off and create nothing but CO2 and water. So one methane and two scoops of oxygen make one scoop of CO2 and two scoops of water. If you can do that, you've already done a grade 10 calculation. If you can't, you have all semester to learn it with me, so in grade 10 you can show off and be the smartest kid in the classroom.